Hey folks, welcome back to another video. As you can see on my screen today, we are going to do code analysis with Sonarcube. So we have already installed Jenkins, already installed Sonarcube. Now we have the code base and now we are going to run the test analysis on that. So uh, if you are following this series, then I think you are good to go. But if you are new over here and seeing me for the first time, my name is Ravish and I create content for DevOps and cloud related stuff. Kindly subscribe to the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this. Okay, so let's directly dive into the video. So the first thing that you need to know is your make sure that your Sonarcube VM or a Linux machine is up and running. Second, it should have a proper and a steady connection because we are going to do a lot of contact here and there. Admin and sudo writes because we have installed a few stuff. Java and JDK is already installed in your system. And firewall port 9000 open because it's the default port used by Sonarcube. So that's what we are going to do over here. All right. So that being said, let's jump directly into the demo part. Okay. So go to your Jenkins, manage Jenkins and global tool configuration. Now here, look for Sonar scanner. So if you have already installed Sonar scanner as a plugin, you would be able to see Sonar scanner over here. Click on add. Now type it Sonar scanner you can use any other name but right now i'll be taking this name only okay that's all you have to do apply and save once done i think you have saved it already go to configure system because we want to store the information related to sonarcube server over here so let it load scroll down to sonarcube section so sonarcube server is over here you have to check this out Click on add sonar cube. We gave it sonar server. That's all. And server URL you have to copy it from here. So just copy this. Come over here. And then just paste it over here. That's all you have to do. Now, server authentication token is one thing that you need to take care of. So nothing happens over here. What you have to do, you have to add something but i think since quite a long time this is the problem that it's not able to add it so what you have to do just save it right over here go back go to manage jenkins again go to configure system come down and before that you what you have to do just go over here in sonar cube go to my account go to security let me expand it a bit Okay, now you have to generate a token over here. So just give it a name, Jenkins, and generate. So copy this, keep it somewhere safe. I'll copy it in my notepad file. Keep it somewhere safe because you need to use it. And then, yeah, that's all. Come over here again. Scroll down over here. Now it's Jenkins, so now keep server perfect over here. Now if you click over add, Jenkins will appear. Previously it was not coming, right? Click on that, click on here, secret file. Here, no, not secret file, sorry about that, secret text. In the secret text, place that. I think that's all you have to do. And after that you can write any name. So I'll write a sonar token. Sorry, my spelling is wrong. After that sonar token. That's all you have to do. Add it, apply, and then save. I think that's all you have to do. If you go over here again, configure system, go to Sonar Keep servers, Sonar token, apply, and OK, and everything is perfectly done. So that's all you have to do. Now, if you want to study more about it, you just have to type Sonar Cube Docs. And then go to Sonarcube documentation. And here you can find out a lot of stuff. Okay. You can go through it. Just type Jenkins over here, Jenkins integration. And then you'll be able to find Jenkins integration over here. So how do you install? How do you go for Sonarcube server? This and this secret text branch, Bitbucket server, Bitbucket, GitHub, GitLab, everything is over here. So you can go through it and understand. You can see Sonar, Q, Sonar Scanner for Jenkins for configuring single branch pipeline. That's what we are doing. We are not doing multi branch over here. Just right click over here. This will open. Go over here using a Jenkins pipeline 
and this is the code that you have to use with sonar cube my sonar cube server only env only true and go through it this is what we are going to do okay so just go through it if you want to understand more for maven you can do that for dot net you can do that for i think gradle is also there so a lot of stuff is over there you can go through it and do it okay uh, i'll go to my code so this is something that i have added over here sonar analysis is the stage name that i have given over here environment is scanner home sonar scanner and sonar server is the name that i have just given over there if you remember in in jenkins right so with sonar cube env is this is my environment name sh scanner home bin sonar scanner so this will automatically run through the profile and it will give the result so this can be generated through your sonar cube as now you can ask me a question why is the sonar server is in capital uh, so all you have to do is just copy this go to the top add a new variable over here and then sonar server we gave in a small format over there small case i think this should be good let's come back same thing happens for sonar scanner just copy this go to the top enter equal to sonar scanner that's all that's all you have to do if you have given some other name feel free to change it okay i have given this names as of now so once these changes are done let me check in the code added a new stage i think this should be good sync the changes perfect okay do not get confused about a lot of things because this gets generated when you create your own project so if you want to change the name you can change the name of this uh, project that does not matter uh, the key name also does not matter this is the source that it is going to take it from these are the binaries from this is going to take it reports path is the surefire reports that we can see i'll, I'll just show you jacoco is java code coverage and check style is the result these are not ex exactly human readable so that's why we need to push it to sonar cube so that we can read it properly so i hope everything is done okay so the changes has been done let's trigger it and see if everything is all right or not and right now let's go back to the projects and we have started it let's go to the console let's see what happens go to console output the basic thing is like previously done it has now archived it xml test is going on nine tests were there right perfect so it has started scanning for the project now this part is the scan part 706 errors reported by surefire now this is something this is execution failure okay no problem but let's go let's go to the ci pipeline and see which step failed analysis which was the last step that has failed okay so let us understand how does it fail okay let's go over console output go down unable to locate report task.txt in the workspace did the sonar scanner succeed mm, let's go over here let's go to the project i think it did not come okay it wasn't able to make the contact so let us troubleshoot this okay so after drilling down i saw that java lang unsupported class version error org sonar batch this and this has been compiled by a more recent version of java runtime class file this 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 version of java runtime only recognizes class file up to 52 so i think we have to fix that okay so i'll just throw more light on this so what happens right uh, let's take a quick look at the java version numbers so java 8 is considered for the 52 that like if you talk about major versions number map to java versions so java 8 is 52 and after that java 9 is 53 java 10 is 54 and java 11 is 55 so now my code is compiled by 55 this one so that's why it's saying it has been compiled by a more recent version of java runtime which is 55 which is java 11 but this version of java runtime only recognizes class file version up to 52 which is java 1.8 that has been done so that has to be resolved all right okay so in order to fix that what I have done is uh, just go to manage Jenkins. After that, go to con configure system. 
let it open because it's going to take some time okay not here just go to back go to global tool configuration and then look for jdk go over here and then just change the jdk type to 11 because what is happening is as i already explained that it's not compatible right now with the current code so we are going to use this so make these changes i'll expand it a bit make these changes install java jre 11 in your system and then you would be able to work it out okay i'll go back now what i'll do is i'll go to vs code so vs code i have observed a few things so you can see that i have stage test and stage check style analysis so i'm not going to use them because they are not compatible with the version and in order to run the full pipeline i have to move over to java 11 so i'll be commenting these two and won't be running that so i've already commented that and uh, rest everything is same and you have already seen the video of upload artifact so i am moving the sonar analysis in between okay in this between and post that i'll be uploading the artifact okay so that's all you have to do the code is safe and checked in you can use the same code and if you want to play around you can play around by checking it out uh, i mean on commenting it and all that stuff all right so that is done let's go back to dashboard and let's uh, run it again and see what happens so i'll just click on build now and it has started the build let's see what happens it's going to take some time so this first two parts are done then build and i have already done uh, uncommented commented this so test and check style analysis uh, won't matter so this will go okay now sonar analysis has started so let it start let it happen you can fast forward the video if you want i'll just uh, let it go if you want to see the process oh it's done the upload artifact is happening right now which is the next process and then post declarative action so your pipeline is complete and your project is complete now let's see go back to over here go to repositories and what was the repository name let's see over from here let's go to upload artifact i think we can go from here we we'll go to console output let's go one by one go over here and you can see repository view profile release dev if i right click over here it will start downloading you can see it has started downloading okay and if you go inside the repository v profile release to browse and in that you have the profile release and you can see that dev in qa has formed and this is the latest one that has been happened okay so this is how you do it so 9th december is today's date and this is done if you go inside here you can check the application okay the system now the next part was the sonar analysis so let's go to the logs and if i go over here you can see the logs that everything is done perfectly all right okay now if you want to see the dashboard right click over here and you can go to the dashboard and you can see that it has been passed so this is completed all right so i hope you have understood it so if you want to go to the projects you can see the v profile the code coverage code coverage is basically how many unit test is unit test case cases are written and how much code is covered in your application duplications code smells hotspot reviewed vulnerabilities bugs and lines okay so this is perfectly all right so I hope you have understood this project. This project now stands completed. So if you are watching this video, I would like to congratulate you that you have completed DevOps project three and everything is done. And now you understand how I can compile the code. What is the Sonar Cube analysis? How I can upload it to any, any artifact to Nexus Artifactory. So this thing, everything you have understood. So over the course of this project, if you have any, any, any issue, feel free to comment below any, anything that you find that, okay, this is not, uh, I'm not able to understand it. Feel free to comment below in the comment section and we will address that. Okay. So thanks guys and drop your comments, uh, please, because it really motivates me to create more content like this. Subscribe to the channel, like and share with your friends who wants to learn DevOps and cloud related stuff. And I'll be back again with another DevOps project. All right. So I'll see you in the next one.